Alright everyone, um, I'm going to show you how to do some simple coloring using polygon selection. And so we're not really going to be working with textures or anything. Uh, okay, so we got this cube. We want to add color to it. Um, I always like to make my objects edible. That's just me. So we're going to go down here to this materials box down here. This is where all your materials will be. I'm going to double click here. When I double click in the box, it creates a default material. There's nothing on it. So we go over here. If you, we want to pick a color. In this box, we just click once. And this color picker comes up. Now, up here, we choose the range of colors we want. Within what range. So I'm going to choose green. And then we have to go down here and actually choose the color within that range. See, this is the color that's going to be on your material. And I'm going to choose a darker green here. I'm going to OK it. And this material turns green. And you can name this material too. I'm going to name it green because it's green. So you can drag, drop right into your cube, and your whole cube is green. But what if you don't want the whole cube green. No problem. We just go into polygon mode and this is where polygon selection kicks in. So you just select the polygon you want. I'm going to pick the top, the top of the cube. Go down here. You can also double click on your material and it will bring up this material editor. And this material editor has a lot of other uh, choices, parameters that you can play play with, and you just have to play with it or watch some more YouTube videos. But I'm not going to get into it. So make sure you have color selected, and then I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to choose red. Okay, it close the window and drag red on here. Now you got a red top. Just choose a different color for this. Uh, uh, oops. Uh, let's go with blue. We don't have blue yet. Okay. It. And now you got a cube with different color sides. And that's basically what um, poly you can color it. Uh, simply. Uh, you can also bring in textures too. So, so instead of like picking a color, this uh, texture right here, texture selection, you can click here and you go in here and choose a different. Um, let's you know, let's bring in a different. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can select a texture that you have. Uh, I'm going to do this rose. And that's my rose texture. So I put a texture on this side. So if you like, say if you have a texture of grass, a picture you've taken of grass, you can go here, select text on the texture, click here, and just choose the one you want. So let's do something else. Let me bring in another uh, one of my projects I'm working on. So I'm going to open Red Rose. And this is my Red Rose. Red Rose. Ruby Rose. I just name it Red Rose. So Polygon Selection. I'm going to Polygon Mode. I have my Select Tool. Um, in your selection tool, click here. This button is really important. If you have it check marked, it will only select what you select, what you see. If you have it unchecked, and I was to uh, okay. select on here, it would select whatever you see here and whatever is behind it. But that's not what I want. 
so you click your selection tool again brings up the menu and I might put a check mark so it only selects what I see okay so I'm gonna hold the shift key that way when I select it selects it adds on to my selection so say if I let go I'm not selecting anymore and I want to select something new I mean add on to it if I don't hold the shift key and I click I lose everything but when I hold the shift key and I have this selected I can select somewhere else and it adds on to it now if I want to take away from it like I accidentally select over here and I don't want to lose all this I hold the control key the control key will take away from what you already have selected and you don't lose anything so now I'm going to hold the shift key and add on to what I have selected okay once I have whatever selected drag a color in it to it and I made her eyes red and this is the simple dirty way to just do polygon selection and add a color to it but eventually you you want to get into textures and stuff and editing textures and everything else that goes along with it I uh, I have this material right here and I already have uh, rows here uh, this material is already added onto rows but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a texture for her so I'll go down here texture whoops I forgot you guys can't see what I'm doing so I'm gonna go here push that button I'm gonna bring in the rose texture so this is actually a PNG file image file that I created for her and there you go she's all textured up and the great thing about textures is you can go into Photoshop with your texture and edit the the image file from there So that's my Ruby Rose and she's doing her animation stuff. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, stop.